What's good, good people? Bets, let's talk. I got a video to share with you guys, man. Before we get started, I'd like you guys to click that like, share, and subscribe. And you know, you guys know, hey, HBO special, help a brother out. Hey, man, I hope y'all had some good holidays, man. Hey, man, look, 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 listen to this story. You know, before I share the video, I just like to say, in every organization, there's always a bad group of people. No matter Army, Navy, Marines, police, Apple, company, the company, you know, McDonald's, it's always a couple of individuals that spoils the bunch. It's always somebody that's not right. And you, you can always talk that up to something that took place with them or the way they was raised and how they seen things. But let me bring up this video. I don't know what you guys think. Here's five Fort Polk soldiers have been arrested, all charged with first degree rape and criminal conspiracy. Vernon Parish Sheriff's detectives say that two women were raped on November 25th. Detectives say one of them. These guys look like dirtbags. I'm, I'm going to just go ahead and say it. But I guarantee out of these five guys that we're looking, I know you just, you, you just want to look at the video. Out of these five guys. At least one of these guys didn't want to do what they what they did. Or probably the one of these guys probably didn't. But guess what? You're guilty by association. The women knew one of the soldiers. He went to her house with four men that the women did not know. The women told police the men brought them alcohol and that they came later to believe that they were actually drugged. The women said they became incapacitated and then the men raped them. All persons are presumed innocent until proven guilty. Even now, it's stuff like this that gets civilians to look at, hey, this is why this, you know, this is why I didn't join the military. This is why I don't want my child to join the military. But not everybody in the military is like this. This is this is everywhere you go. This isn't just the military. This is every organization you step in. Every club you walk in, you always got somebody stalking or like this is not to sit back and say be fearful, but be careful for who you invite in your home. Who did you sit down and accept the drink from? You can't be trusting of everybody you run across, especially if it's a new person that you've known for probably a week or two. You never know their agenda, agenda, especially young, young guys. You know, they're full of a, a lot of things that we don't know about where they grew up, how they grew up and what, what was dealt to them as the, as children. So what do you guys think about this? These these dirt bags, this, that's what they are. This is horrible, horrible. This thing that they did is horrible. No one, no one, I'm going to say it again, should have to go through somebody violating them in this manner. And if they are found guilty, I hope they're dealt with accordingly. Hope it's nothing like a smack on the wrist, which like, you know, military, these aren't officers. So I'm not even going to go too far with that because I do know some officers that watch this, but it is some higher ranking people that just got, hey, you just go ahead and get your retirement and get out. Like, you know, that old school way. Good old boys get looked at a certain type of way and they just get the pass. But not these guys. These guys are on the news. But wrong is wrong. Regardless on how anybody looks at it, this is wrong. If it does not, listen to me, if it does not belong to you, don't touch it. And in and, and one of my other videos I shared with you guys, and I think it was the uh, renaming of the uh, the military post, money being allocated in certain areas. So is do you think this is one of the areas that should be funded, training? Like, because you really don't know the mental capacity of the individuals coming in the military. You just don't. They pass an ASVAB. They might, you know, no criminal record and they come in, but you really don't know the things that they were doing. You don't know if they're criminal or not just because they don't have a criminal record. You don't know the mindset of them. You don't know the things that it obviously this has happened before. And they got and that one in and, and the individual that drugged this, these ladies got away with it. 
obviously. So an individual only do things more than one time if, if they only got away with it the first time. And that's how I see this. This is wrong. Hey, man, this is a real quick video. I got a quote. Clement Stone. Have the courage to say no. Have the courage to face the truth. Do the right thing because it's right. These are the magic keys to living your life with integrity. And that's it for now. Vets, let's talk. Who's up next for formation? 